Hello dear students, welcome back to my another English video class. Today I am going to take the third poem of your class 11th English textbook that is The Voice of the Rain, okay, which has been written by Walt Whitman. Students, before coming to the introduction part, let's discuss something about the poet Walt Whitman, okay. His full name was Walter Whitman. He was an American poet, essayist and journalist. Okay, he was the most influential poet of America. His worst collection, Leaves of Grass, is a landmark in the history of American literature. Okay, so that's all about the Whitman. So let's come to know the introduction part of this poem. The poem, The Voice of the Rain, is an imaginary conversation between the poet and the rain. Okay, as you all know that generally a poet is known for such mood. To think like that, to talk to the trees, to talk to the element of the nature and that's what here the poet is doing. The rain explains its eternal journey. Okay, when the conversation is there between the poet and the rain and once when the poet asks to the soft falling droplets, who are you? To which she replies that she is the poem of earth. In this way, the rain explains its eternal journey in this poem, okay? Now let's move on and discuss some of the important keywords of this poem. So the first word is thou, thou means you. The next word is eternal, eternal means perpetual, okay? What do you mean by perpetual? Nitya, koi chiz nirantar hai, lagatar hai and that is what? Perpetual, nirantar. So eternal means perpetual. Impalpable, what do you mean by impalpable? Here it means that cannot be touched, okay? That means impalpable. Whence, whence means from where, kahan se, okay? Let me tell you, it depends on where at which place you use whence, okay? It can give you both of the sense like from where, kahan se or you can, it, it can give you the sense of jahan se, okay? So whence means from where. Next word is vaguely, vaguely means not clearly or you can say obscure. Latent, latent means hidden, okay? So simple word, latent means hidden. Lave, lave means to wash, okay? So these were some of the selected keywords of this poem. Now let's move to the summary of this poem. So students, let's go through this beautiful imaginary conversation between the poet and the rain and let's see what happens when the poet asks the rain that who she is. So when the poet asks the rain who she is, to this what she answered to the poet is strange to tell, okay? The poet tells us that it is strange for him to tell us. So the poet translates it to his own language, okay, for the benefit of the readers. The rain said that it was the poem of the earth, okay. What, what answer the poet got from the rain? The rain said that it was the poem of the earth, okay. She rises out continuously from the land and bottomless sea. As you all know that how the rain is generally formed, okay. It's a process of evaporation. So what she says that it is untouched and unseen, okay. When she rises out from the earth, it cannot be seen, neither it can be touched, neither it can be seen, okay. So in the sky, she undergoes some transformation. There is the process of transformation, you know what I mean to say, okay. That from uh, vapor, she changes into the water droplets and then she falls back on the surface of the earth. To provide water to the drought prone areas. What do you mean by drought prone areas? Drought prone areas are such places which are dried completely, okay? Sukha grist area jisko aap bolte hain, okay? So drought prone areas, it provides water and even in this way, it provides life to the seeds inside the earth, okay? As you know that when water droplets comes down, okay, through which the seeds sprout. So inside the earth, it helps them to grow, okay, to the seeds. Day and night endlessly, the rain gives life back to the place of her origin. How nicely this line is, what the rain says, day and night endlessly, lagatar continuously, the rain works over it as it gives life, as it gives life back to the place of her origin. Why she says origin? Because once she has got her origin from the earth, she goes upside, upwards, and once again she falls down. After then, what the rain says? The rain doesn't care if anyone bothers about her deeds or not, okay? She doesn't care about if anybody is bothered. In this way she says, she 
completes her work and comes back home. The beautiful line is this. Try to understand. She says she completes her work, okay, and comes back home. What do? What's the home? It's earth, okay. The poet also compares the rain with a song. Why? As they both share a common journey. In what way? The song originates from the heart of the singer. As you know that the singer sings the song from the heart. It goes to the people's heart, to the soul of them. And then once again, it comes back to his art with due love. Okay. So what he, the author says that uh, the song originates from the heart of the singer, travels across to fulfill the aim. Okay. Travels across to fulfill the aim and comes back with the due love for the singer. So the same way rain does the work of its. Okay. So here in this poem, what we found that the rain is personified as she answers to the poet. Okay. So I hope you would have understood this beautiful poem. So that's it for now. Thank you so much. Take care and goodbye.